Hi guys, today's the day I'm going to unstuff my 52 week challenge and my 100 envelope challenge. This was my save 2022 in 2022 and this one I believe adds up to 2000 but there was one envelope that I didn't stuff the number that was on the box. So we're going to unstuff this together. I am so excited. This is going to be a longer video, so grab a snack, grab a drink, and let's jump into it. So let's start off with the Save 2022. I am creating a Save 2023. I'm going to do it in a 52-week version for everybody that gets paid weekly and a 26-week version for everyone that gets paid bi-weekly. This was the tracker for the Save 2022. So I have my little tray here. This is from Amazon. It's actually a makeup palette holder. And we're just going to start, this is, oh yeah, I didn't label these ones, so I'm just going to start putting this money away, and I think I'm just going to count everything at the very end, um, and do it that way instead of counting each box, every, these are all going to be like folded in. Um, so my plan for this money is we are going to use it, or I'm going to use it for my half of the fence. If you're new here, we got a fence because we just got a third dog. And, um, so I am using this to pay off my half. Mike worked a bunch of overtime and used that overtime check to pay for his half. So once I give this money to... Mike to deposit for the payment, um, the fence will be paid off, which is just crazy because I want to say it was, it was either August or September that it was installed and it's only October, October 31st, actually happy Halloween, everybody. So that's just kind of crazy that like, we don't have that debt anymore after we make this payment. Um, and I do have the number off to the side, which we will calculate how much of this I will have left. Um, and I don't really know what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, if I'm going to save it or spend it, I might spend it just because it's money I saved and I might say spend it. I think there'll be like a hundred bucks left if, um, I did my calculations right, but there might be a little less or a little more. I'm not sure. Um, today is Halloween, like I said, and I have so much going on right now. It's actually crazy. I'm just going to use this video as like a little life update, little diary type situation. Um, I We have our annual Halloween bonfire tonight, which I'm super excited about. And make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, same name as it is here, um, because, sorry, I keep saying, um, because I will be posting our Halloween costume there, which is a group costume that is the way to do it when you have, for me, my dogs are my kids, we all know that, so we are doing a group costume again this year. Last year, me and the dogs were minions and Mike was Gru. And the year before that, Mike had to work all night, so we were not a group costume. I was a butterfly, Ollie was a ladybug, and Clover was a bumblebee. Um, yeah, this year it's, it's a pretty iconic group costume, I'm not going to lie. I am so excited for it. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram because I will be posting that photo today. Mike gets up around 3 today. He does have to work for a little bit tonight, but not all night. So he will be able to come home and celebrate. So, let's see what we're doing. Little paw prints. A little update on Marlon. If you guys have been following along with his journey, he is still having stomach issues. He just got off of his antibiotic and... The loose stools are kind of back um, starting this morning, so I'm going to see how he is for the rest of the day today and uh, probably call the vet tomorrow, depending, but um, yeah, we are working on getting some tests done. I think I have an idea of what it could be. All the symptoms seem um, 
like it and I don't know if I mentioned this but it's called EPI for short I don't know the like direct uh, terminology but all of the symptoms seem very like they're pinpoint to what he is um, experiencing so I'm going to tell the vet about that on when I call them either today or tomorrow and see if I can get him tested for it it's basically where your pancreas does not produce the right enzymes to digest food and you have like diarrhea you can't gain weight um, I believe humans can get it too so um, yeah but basically if that's that he will have to take enzymes every time he eats um, and I've heard they can get kind of pricey so there's that there's a little update on Marlin Clover excuse me <clears throat> Clover and Ollie are doing great Clover's not a huge fan of her brother but she does get in moods where she wants to play with the puppy Ollie loves playing with him and yeah my legs are getting tired they're crossed <clears throat> excuse me sorry they're crossed and they're falling asleep also if you hear any noises I have um gosh I need to stop saying um sorry I have Halloween Town playing upstairs and also the washer is going so don't mind that This part is always so satisfying. This is going to be a long video. Sorry, guys. These little pockets are going to be full. <laughs> Whenever I get back from vacation, I'm going to do another box launch. So if you guys are wanting one, they will be more up when I get back from vacation. I'm getting really excited but also nervous to go just because I don't really want to leave Marlin without knowing what exactly is wrong but he's going to be in great hands. He is going to stay with the people we actually got him from um, and they have a puppy as well so he is going to have the time of his life and the washer is making loud noises. Sorry. So close. Then we have the 100 <laughs> and we're already eight minutes in. Hopefully you guys got a snack. I told you, let's bring a snack. This angle for me is weird because normally I stand when I film, but I knew this would be a longer video, so I'm sitting, and like the way the tripod is in my chair, it's not the comfiest, but I knew I'd want to sit, so I'm sticking through it. TV's really loud up there now. Must be at like a dramatic part. I will give you guys a hint um, for our Halloween costume. It's a movie and I rented it this morning to watch it because I haven't seen it in a long time. And Mike got home from work while I was watching it. And he's like, you know, I don't think I've ever seen this movie. I was like, what? But 
I don't know if that's a hint, but I, like I said, I will be posting the picture um, probably on my community tab as well, but Instagram will see it first. And my mom made Mike's costume because she is very creative. She used to make my costumes all the time when I was growing up. And then she would always make us a matching, she would take like one of those like white tote bags and she would decorate it to match the costume every single year. She is an icon. <laughs> All right, we're almost done with the 52. Okay, one more. off on a 35 okay oh did I put that no all right Whew. there's that one 52 week is empty I'll put this tracker back in there now <laughs> this one's gonna take a long time let's just make these all pretty again That is so crazy, guys. All right, sorry, I'm just adjusting my my body here. Okay, I'm gonna have to adjust again, but it's okay. Let's do the 100. All right, here we go. I think I'm gonna do piles and then we'll add it because that's just gonna be easier, I think, but we'll see because this money's gonna fold. Nope. We're just going to do it in here. Sorry. <laughs> just going to be easier to slide it in because it's very folded money. For this one, there was 40 $10 envelopes, 40 $15 envelopes, and 20 $50 envelopes. Sorry. I was trying to think of numbers while staring at those fives, and my brain was like, Ooh, cannot compute. I should have brought my water down here. I'm trying to think if there's like any like frequently asked questions I get that I could answer, but my mind just doesn't want to think right now. I'm kind of just thinking in my head of all the stuff that I need to do after I film this video. But all the food is done. It's pretty much I just need to like clean. But Mike's going to get up early today and help. He only has to work um, a little bit tonight. So like I said, he'll be able to come after he's off. And yeah. Um, oh, I know what I can talk about. Does anybody have like a traditional... Or like a staple Halloween meal. So growing up, my parents, my my house was kind of like, almost like the starting ground for how, like trick or treating. And so every year growing up, my mom would make sloppy joes and mac and cheese just because it's quick. A lot of people will eat it. Um, even like picky people, at least they'll eat the mac and cheese. So we always had sloppy joe and mac and cheese growing up, but I never ate like sloppy joe on a bun. The way I eat sloppy joe and mac and cheese is you take a scoop of sloppy joe and you take two scoops of mac and cheese, mix it together, and that's how you do it. That is how I eat it. And even at the restaurant, they would have sloppy joe and mac and cheese as the special on Halloween because that is like, that was what we grew up eating. So when we first started doing our Halloween bonfire, of course, the main meal is sloppy joe and mac and cheese. So that is what we are having tonight. And then whatever else people bring. Um, we're also going to do some tacos and some Italian beef. So we've got lots of food. Um, and the first year, I kind of remember when we did it, we didn't really know our neighbors too well. Um, but all of my neighbors pretty much around us have kids or are older and like their kids have moved out. So 
all the kids the, um, that live near us love Mike and I because we just, I don't know, we like kids, so they just swarm to us. And I remember the first year um, that we had this, they were trick-or-treating and we told them to like come over and like get some food and we had a bunch of candy left over and that was like the first time that you know we really like talked to the neighbors and that was fun that was really fun and then the, the little neighbor boy across the street came back he would like go walk home come back in a different costume to get more candy after he had already trick-or-treated. It was so funny. One second. Sorry, I thought Marlon was barking and I thought I had to go let him out. Anyway, he, that was, that was really cute. And, um, I don't know. I just thought I would tell you that story, <laughs> but yeah. So the neighbors are coming. My parents' friends are coming. It's going to be, going to be a good, good time. Marlon will get socialized because he is scared of everything. When we first would take him on walks, he, every little leaf that blew past him, the fire hydrants, like he was barking at it all. He's a little better, but still pretty scared of everything. So I've been trying to really get him socialized and because he's at that age now where they really need to learn. I'm going to stick this stack of fives back here for now because I'm running out of space. probably about almost halfway through this box maybe a little <laughs> a little less than halfway I can't believe this though like if you remember when I started both of these at the beginning of the year I wanted to finish the 52 and I was like I don't know if I'm gonna finish the 100 but like that'll be cool if I can or whatever did I put the right bill or is that just a dirty bill um and I finished both, which is just insane. Darn, that one reminds me of Target for some reason. So, and we just get to, we get to pay off the fence. Like, don't have to worry about that. Um, I haven't decided if I want to start more boxes or wait till the new year. Um, so let me know what you guys think. When I asked you in a previous video, a couple weeks back everyone said to start new challenges right away but I haven't decided yet I don't know I don't know if I want to start right away or wait till the new year so let me know again what y'all think I don't know why I said y'all I don't really say y'all in my daily vocabulary <laughs> I'm gonna move these tins too because that one is full as well. When I turned in my boxes the last time, um, I was telling my bank about like my channel and like what I do with cash and because I came in really organized I had wrote down um, like the total amount of money that I had and then I wrote down how many of each bill there was because that way they don't have to check it as many times um, if that makes sense so they were telling me how they appreciated how organized I was and was asking about like what I do and um, I was showing them because I, I brought the money in the box basically. I just folded it. So that was fun to explain it. Then I went to the bank the last time and there was a new lady there. And I had my little cash breakdown sheet of what I needed. And she was like, that is so cool. I was like, thanks. 
cakes. <laughs> I make them. I love like telling people about the cash envelope method though because it seriously like changes lives. You just have to be really disciplined and that is the struggle in itself is to be disciplined because you are like, well, I just have this cash in my hand. I might as well spend it. But you have to be so disciplined. I do want to make a couple videos about um, like if you're starting the process. So if you guys would be curious on that, let me know. Um, sorry, the washer is like, it makes that thud towards the end where it's like draining the water. This is insane. Looking at this right now, this is actually crazy. This is going to take a hot second to count. How's everybody's snack? I really hope you did grab a snack. I'm I'm starving right now, so let me know what you're eating. <laughs> and I can live through you. I still need to shower and get ready and do my makeup. I need to go and get the warmer from my parents. In the bathrooms. Got lots to do. Also, I really hope one of my dad's friends is bringing wood for the bonfire because I don't have any and I told him to ask one of them to bring some. So hopefully one of them do because I don't have any. And then we just gotta count it. That's gonna be the hard part. Not really hard part, just... Just the long... I guess this is the longest part though. Separating it all. Look at that! We're so close. All these ones. sections are full. Oh, more ones. I think this is the one, yeah, because this has a hundred in it. So I must have stuffed an extra 50 in here. Well, actually, I don't know because I don't know what this envelope was. So if it was supposed to be like a 10, then there's an extra 90. If it was supposed to be 50, then there's an extra 50. Because for some reason that envelope didn't have a label on it. So I just made it whatever. Ah. 
My money's starting to get messy. I did not anticipate it to take this long. I guess I just remember last year's video, but last year I only had one box to unstuff, not two. If you guys are still watching right now, leave me a little pumpkin emoji down below. Oh, that washer. Why does it have to be so loud? Why did I have to start it before the video? It's right on the other side of this wall. I did not, did not think that very thoroughly. Did not think that through very well is what I should have said. Can you tell I'm tired? Ah, we're so close. Let's just see if we can get these in here. Get in there. Oh, of course now. Clover's gonna be barking. What's what's new? Why not? Why not ruin a video? She's down here with me in the other room. But I have the door closed. But I did hear a car drive by, so and my feet right now, I'm like sitting on my chair but I have my feet underneath me and they are most definitely numb right now so before I count this I'm going to have to readjust for like the 12th time ah two more Last envelope. Come on. Okay. Look at that. Okay, so this is the amount that we owe left on the fence. So I'm gonna set this off to the side because I'm going to need this to keep track of this. So we're gonna count the 50s first. I should have brought my iPad down here, but it's upstairs and I'm not about to go up there and get it. So we're gonna go classic pen and paper here. So you have 51, 52. Oh, real quickly, I'm gonna say this. In my last video, someone excuse me, had said I counted my vacation wrong, but that's because I just did that, where, like, I go to move the bill and it doesn't move, so it looks like I double-counted it or miscounted, but I double-checked and it's right. So we have 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 50, 1,000, 1, 2. So... We'll do 50s, 1,200, oh my gosh. Isn't that crazy though that that thin amount of money can be that much money? I'm going to count this one more time. I'm sorry if this will get annoying, but I probably will double count most of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. So, we have 1,250s. Then we have the 20s. I'm going to try and stick these together if they'll fit the 10s. Oh, yeah, they will. It's just hard whenever they're... I don't know if these fives will, though. Look at all those fives. Let's see if we can get these in here. Come on. Okay. Oh my gosh. That is so crazy. Okay, let's count these. 20s, ready? 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82. 20, 40, 60, 83. 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 
20, 40, 60, 88, 20, 40, 60, 89, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1,000. So I'm going to set these aside. I don't think I'm going to recount the, anything else, to be honest, and you guys can help me if I mess up. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, and 20, 40, 60, 80. So, right, 1,480. Holy crap. That alone just blows my mind. And we're not even done. Obviously, those are the big bills, so that's going to be majority. Okay, we'll do this. We'll scoot them back each time. Okay, let's move on to the tens. I'm going to write tens before I forget. We'll just write them all. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one hundred. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two hundred. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three hundred. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, four hundred. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, five hundred. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, six hundred. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven hundred. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven hundred and eighty. Holy crap. Okay. Put these in the back. Moving on to the fives. Okay, I need to readjust, sorry. My foot's going to sleep again and I already readjusted once. Okay, I'm gonna split this off because that's a big stack. We have five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 200, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, or 300, sorry. 300, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 400, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 500, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So 530. 530. <laughs> that is just crazy. Okay. Now the ones. Okay. Let's 
see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, so that makes 100. My light just died. I am so sorry. So that's 100. I turned my flash on my phone, but it doesn't make it that much better, so I'm sorry. So that's 100, and then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So 122. Okay, let's stick this back over here. Look at that, guys. I know that the flash is off now, but holy crap. One year, a little less than a year's worth of saving. Ten months, kind of, worth of saving. That is crazy. So, let's add up what we have here. We have 1200 plus 1480 plus 780 plus 530 plus 122. So in total, I saved in cash $4,112. Crazy. If I counted that right. That's how much I have sitting right here. Yes, this is in a safe spot. It will go in a safe spot until I take it to the bank tomorrow. Trust me. So let's see. The fence payment is $3,829.64. So I'm going to round this to $3,830. So minus $3,830. So I will have $282 left of this. So, like I said, I don't know what I plan to do with that money yet. I might just spend it on myself. I might put it into my savings account. I'm not going to re-stuff it into a challenge because I saved that money. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. When I go to the bank, I kind of do something like this, and then I write how many of each bill there is, and then I give them this. Well, I give it to them on my cash breakdown card, but it's in my purse upstairs. And so that way it's easier for them to double check my, my math, their math, to make sure everything is right. And that is how I do that. Thank you guys so, so, so much for sticking around. If you finish this video, leave me a bat emoji because today's Halloween. I hope everybody had a fun, safe weekend and everybody has a fun, safe night tonight. If you don't celebrate Halloween, I hope you have a nice, cozy, relaxing night and I will see everybody later. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!